Welcome back to this series about virus production. Today we will talk about the downstream challenges. If host cell lysis is required, make sure to use the detergent that is compliant with all the regulatory requirements. For example, Triton X100 is not allowed for large-scale production in Europe anymore. This is due to health and environmental reasons. Virus infectivity is needed to be maintained throughout the purification process. Virus stability can be affected by salt in your buffer, pH in your buffer, and if you have problem with virus stability, you can add stabilizers. It is important to optimize recovery of each step, since this will affect the overall process economy. By minimizing the number of steps, you can improve recovery. Whole cell DNA is often the most difficult impurity to remove. By doing DNA fragmentation by nuclease treatment early in your process, this can help you to remove them easier in the filtration and chromatography steps. We recommend to use orthogonal methods for primary and secondary purification in order to separate impurities from the virus more efficiently. As mentioned previously, large virus particles can only bind to the surface of the chromatography support, and this will impact the capacity. We recommend you to use smaller bead resins or membranes in order to improve capacity. In conclusion, purification needs to be optimized for improved recovery and impurity removal in each step. Regulatory and process economy demands can be met by using scalable and modern downstream technologies. In the next episode, we will share our insights from our own work in developing a scalable adenovirus process. If you want to learn more about optimizing downstream processes, please visit our web.